I'm just too old. I'm never going to get this. I am not that talented. I've heard all these things and more, and in this video, I'm going to bust seven common myths about learning how to play the guitar. Welcome back to Relax Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin, and this is Maggie. Oh, got room for more? No, just room for half of one. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Kevin. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. And uh, let's get started with this great lesson. Okay, myth number one, we're starting with the biggie. I am too old to learn how to play the guitar. Uh, I'm calling this uh, a myth because I have seen it proven time and time again that it doesn't matter how old you are. We have folks in our membership ranging from ages you know, 30 up to 90, and there are folks that are amazing themselves every day as they learn things they never thought they would be able to learn. Uh, for many of these uh, myths, I have videos that go into much more depth about the topic, so I've got, I'll have got i leave those in the description below for you guys to check out. I've got one on some tips for older beginners, and that's a really good place to start if you feel like you're too old to learn how to play the guitar. There's things in there like uh, how to get better at rhythm and timing, how to change the chords smoother, how to deal with sore fingers. I mean, there's some good stuff in there, so definitely check that out. But it is absolutely not true that you are too old to learn how to play the guitar. And speaking of sore fingers, the other thing that I'll hear a lot is that my fingers are wrong. My fingers are too fat. My fingers are too stubby. I have the wrong hands to play the guitar. That one's common whether you're uh, you know, older or younger, a new beginner or been playing for a while. It's easy to feel that way when you're kind of starting out and you pick up a guitar and you're like, there's, there's no way that people are pressing these strings and getting these sounds to come out of this instrument. My fingers are too fat. Um, it's not true. Uh, and again, I've got another lesson you can check out in the description that goes into more detail, but it's all about kind of using what you have. <laughs> adapting to what you have it's not about what you don't have it's about what you do have and if it were true we wouldn't be seeing these some crazy crazy videos on really young kids that are just shredding the guitar right. and making us all feel inadequate <laughs> but it is not true you have the right fingers you just need to learn how to use them to play the guitar so that's definitely a big one that is not true number three Learning guitar takes way too long. I don't have time for this. <laughs> so um, the first thing I'll say is we make time for the things we prioritize. So if we really want to learn how to play the guitar, then you can make time to do that. And with a guitar, it is all about small bites. It's not about buffet style dinners and taking it all in and playing for hours and hours at a time. It's about the uh, playing or practicing the correct way that builds on skills that gets you to go further. Uh, again, I've got a lesson on kind of the practice routine that I use and that I recommend people use to get better at the guitar. Uh, but it really isn't about time. It's about uh, a little bit of time every day, every couple of days, and you will be amazed at how fast you learn. Number four, it takes an insane amount of talent for anyone to sound good at playing the guitar. Uh, it's easy to feel that way, though the approach that I take or that we take inside our Relax on Guitar membership is that it's all about uh, learning to play the guitar should be something that's relaxing, obviously, and fun, and to use that as a way to enjoy music even more. When we start learning an instrument, you'll start listening to songs and music in a completely different way and hearing all the different parts and it's just good for the brain. Uh, it doesn't take an insane amount of talent. Now it does take some time, like we talked about, a little bit each day. It also takes like having a good attitude about learning to play the guitar. The number five myth is I need to sound perfect before I can share any of this with the world. <laughs> and I, I see this one a lot with some of our members. Um, I do, uh, encourage our members to submit uh, videos inside our membership and they can get feedback from me or from our other members encouragement we definitely keep it positive uh, but you don't have to sound perfect uh, to uh, be good at the guitar if you're not messing up and making mistakes you're not doing it right uh, the thing with learning anything really not just the guitar this applies to anything uh, learn from your mistakes, realize that there's, like I said, going to be good days and bad days for you. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about 
for a cliche. It's more about the journey than it is the destination. So uh, I don't approach things uh, with our members as something that's going to be like, we're going to get perfect. We're going to become, you know, these prodigies and, you know, super amazing Eric Clapton, Eddie Van Halen, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's not that. It's more about like learning these pieces and feeling good about it. And the more we feel good, then we get to learn the next piece. And it's all about that journey. And it doesn't really ever end, really. You don't just become perfect. You just kind of play and enjoy it. Uh, Myth number six is you have to have an expensive, made in the USA, uh, decked out guitar to sound good. (laughs) And that is not true. Now, when I was younger, uh, the quality of the kind of starter guitars was not where it is these days. I have a video below that talks to that can show you kind of what to take into consideration and how to choose a good guitar, especially like choosing your first guitar. It's not so much about has to be made in the USA. I do kind of I am a firm believer that the most important part is the action or the you know amount of space between the strings and the fretboard, especially on an acoustic guitar. The action is important and you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get a guitar with good action. Uh, Now, if you do uh, want to uh, stick with it, I do recommend a solid top guitar. But again, you can get those these days that are not going to break the bank, Uh, but you don't want to uh really get a cheap guitar that has you know horrible action that's difficult to play because then it's just i see people get discouraged and quit what's the action again action is how far the strings are from the fretboard so there's a little bit of space between the strings and the fretboard the lower the action the less you have to press your fingers from the strings into the fretboard and especially when you're starting out it's nice to have a low action guitar because it's going to be easier to get good sounds And number seven, playing fast is better, and it's all about being a lead guitar player, and I'm never gonna be able to do that, so I'm not even gonna try. (laughs) It's kind of a two-parter. This one, I really, really firmly believe that the guitar is all about rhythm and timing, and that it's much more important to get that down than it is to get you know solos and you know scales and all those things. Now there's a totally a place for that, but we've all been to you know a concert or a show um, where the lead guitar player is just going on and on and on and is firing up the fingerboard. But you know there's a place for that. But when it comes to kind of playing and being uh, feeling good about what you're playing and helping entertain yourself, your friends you know, cookouts, reunions, whatever it is, or just to kind of play the guitar for yourself. The rhythm and timing is a much more important thing. I spend a lot of time with folks uh, on this topic. I've got a lesson in the description about how to get better at rhythm and timing and some tips for you, because I think that's more the important part than playing fast is the most important thing. So I hope those uh, myth-busting tips uh, help you out uh, when you're kind of feeling down or stuck or I can't do this kind of just realize it is about the journey and just taking that next step and enjoying it so use those tips and don't believe don't believe the hype it's not true people Um, once you've kind of gotten over that and you need some songs to learn and to start playing on that guitar check out this lesson next where I show you seven songs that you can play using just four chords uh, remember that uh, Vicki, Maggie, and I very much appreciate your support and your views here on YouTube and that you're never too old to learn. And we'll see you guys for the next lesson. Take care.